6.44. Good morning. Thank you for your company this morning. Hope you're well this Wednesday morning. Uh, because let's talk health now. And experts are warning you to tuck your trousers into your socks when you go out walking in long grass so you don't get Lyme disease. Well, according to a study of GP's records, there's been a significant increase in the number of cases of the disease, which is a bacterial infection spread through bites from infected ticks. Julian Knight is from the charity Lyme Disease. UK and suffers with the condition herself. Good morning, Julia. Good morning. What are the symptoms of Lyme disease and, and, and what happens if you get it? Okay, so initially, uh, some people, not everybody, will get a rash. Um, this is typically known as a bullseye rash. The official name is a, an erythema migraines rash, which is a red rash that spreads slowly outwards. Now, a lot of people uh, think of the typical, it, it can be a bullseye shape, just like a bullseye, so with rings. Okay. So the doctors typically look for that if they are suspicious of Lyme disease. But the rashes can be atypical and they can be solid. If, and... if you don't get a rash, which not everybody does, um, the things to look out for if you know you've been bitten are a flu-like illness Particularly at times of the year, you wouldn't think you would get flu. So headache, achy neck, fever, feeling generally unwell, maybe achy joints. And it, you get it from infected ticks? That's correct, yeah. Um, not all ticks carry the infection, um, but sadly they don't walk about with a label telling us which ones are and which ones are not. So the best thing is to prevent a tick bite, you know, full stop if you can. Morning, Julia. I understand that um, you're affected by Lyme disease yourself. How does that sort of manifest itself daily? Does it affect you in your, your day-to-day life or is it now and again? How sort of severe is it? Uh, for me personally, it affects me every day. I, be, I was bitten in 1999, believe it or not. Um, I didn't get the rash. Um, I felt a bit unwell after about eight weeks or so. Didn't take any notice. And by October, um, had a complete health crash. I ended up bedridden for a while and housebound for the next seven years. It still affects me more to do with my nervous system uh, now because the bacteria, if not treated quickly, can affect your nervous system or your heart or your joints. You were housebound for seven years, though, my nervous it? system. Housebound for seven years? Yes, I was, yeah. My gosh. Is it curable? What is the treatment? Okay, so the most important factor with Lyme disease is getting it diagnosed promptly and treated promptly with antibiotics. Um, At the moment, uh, the NICE guidelines are saying for acute Lyme disease, uh, three to six weeks of antibiotics, depending on how you respond to the first course. And if that's done promptly, you get that diagnosis, then hopefully, you know, the bacteria will be knocked on the head. The problem is when diagnosis is missed, which is all too frequent in this country, uh, people then become very unwell. They start producing a myriad of symptoms. You know, uh, like I said, it can affect the heart, nervous system, um, joints. You can become very unwell. And by the time that time's elapsed, it's hard for a doctor to pinpoint what's going on, particularly if you don't know you've been bitten. I didn't know much about the disease at all, but but I learned it from watching um, Yolanda Hadid, which is a a reality TV star, and and her coping with it. I mean, do you think awareness is growing? I hope it's growing. Um, Lyme Disease UK, we're just a very small charity uh, staffed by a team of volunteers, all sufferers, And we put out uh, a huge campaign every May because typically the ticks are active from early spring to late um, autumn. Although last winter, in our mild winter, we had people coming to us for advice right through the winter. Um, We're trying to raise as much awareness as possible because if we can prevent the if we can prevent tick bites in the first place or educate people on what to do if they know they've been bitten, Um, we can maybe prevent a lot of these long-term distressing cases that get missed. 
Julia Knight, good to talk to you this morning. Um, thank you for your time. Uh, Julia Knight there from the charity Lyme Disease UK. Uh, good morning.